Hello peeps and welcome back to Mod of Minecraft with Night Dagger and Kozak Wolf. I'm flying it solo again tonight. Um, Kozak isn't feeling very well, neither am I to be honest, but I wanted to record something. So, what the hell ever. Um, did a little bit of work off camera with some mining. Went and gathered some sticky res... Is that a pigman? That's a pigman. That's a pigman. Hey, you, go home. Go home. Go. Go to your home. If I kill him, every pig man on the other side is going to be pissed at me. Screw it. <laughs> Whatever. <clears throat> they can be pissed at me. Alright, anyway. So, as you might be able to see, my armor is all but screwed. So I think it's about time we start making some new armor. Why waste the metal on making crappy armor when we can make good armor? That said... Today, we are going to focus on power suits, but there's one thing I want to do first. Let's go check it, uh, check up on our bees. And I'm grabbing some stuff here, because we're going to need a little bit of this. Uh, let's, let's grab our bealizer too, because I did make a bealizer off camera. As you can see, I have been dinking around with the bees a little bit. I have not started any extra bees stuff yet. I'm waiting until we actually do it on camera to start extra bees. But I have four, ap four apiaries here. This apiary has a forest set that I am continuing to propagate because it is a pure fast forest set. And it's always good to have pure fast in your repertoire. Over here, we've got branch off into cultivated. Forest common with slowest and fast. Cultivated forest with pure fast. Cultivated diligent, fast slowest. Let's see if we can get the cultivated tick. Over here, we've got some more forest. Looks like I've actually downgraded a little bit. Uh, forest cultivated, fast slowest. Forest cultivated, fast slowest. So let's go ahead and do Forest Cultivated and Cultivated Diligent. And over here we have Common, which is Common Forest. Uh, let's see here. Forest Common and Forest Diligent. So let's go ahead and see if we can get Diligent to take on that one too. And here we have our Oddball Bees. I've got an Unwary Diligent, I have a Noble, and I have a Majestic Noble. So, we're making a little bit of progress. Now, I haven't really done a whole lot with it yet. Mostly it's just been recombining the bees, but I did come out here for a reason. Two sticks with a piece of bronze on the end gives you a grafter. What's the grafter used for? You see that strangely colored leaf up there? That is what happens when bees cross-pollinate a tree. If you take the grafter and break that leaf, it gives you a sapling, guaranteed. A silver lime sapling, in this case. On this tree here, we also have a strange colored leaf. And this one is an apple oak of some sort. And then up here on the jungle tree, we also have a strangely colored leaf. And this one is a jungle sapling of some sort. Oh, we got another one. And this one is also a jungle sapling of some sort. Cool. So, ow. We have a little bit of work going here. A little bit of start out for our trees. Let's come up here. And let's go ahead and grab ourselves some copper. Two pieces should be enough. Actually, four. Put our bronze and our stick away. And our grafter. By the way, notice how fast the grafter is dying. Uh, we'll need two panes of glass. We'll need two pieces of redstone. And a diamond. And if we come over here to this carpenter, we'll put the diamond there, the redstone on the sides, the copper like that, and the glass panes, we get the recipe for the trealizer. 
yeah, real original name. But hey, it is what it is. While that crafts, let's get us some bone meal. Almost there. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on. There we go. Trealizer. Now the trealizer still uses honey drops for function. Uh, let's see what we got. We have a silver lime sapling, which matures fast. It's a small height. Yields normal. Um, let's see here. Supports nuts, fruits, poems, fruit, none. So this tree gives off no fruit whatsoever. The jungle sapling here is actually a combination of a jungle and a silver birch with fastest maturation, large fruit, cocoa. This is a jungle and a red spruce combination. And this apple oak is an apple oak jungle tree that <clears throat> supports poems and doesn't give off any sort of fruit at the moment because the cocoa is its active, and cocoa, I guess, is not a poem. So that's actually kind of a useless tree for us, but we're going to go plant it anyway. And after we kill the mobs that are cropping up around our farm... <clears throat> because I do not want to die again. Walked out here a little bit earlier. Got killed by Hecate. Alright, let's go ahead and plant our apple oak, say, right about here. Looks good. Oh, that's a big tree. Cool. Uh, let's move this chest, I think. Because I kind of want to put the silver lime right here. Silver lime tree there. Bone meal that. Oh, that's a cool looking tree. And over here, where this flower is growing, we'll put jungle sapling number one. And we can't bone meal it because it's... Whoa! Whoa! Dark mages. Screw you guys. I'm out of here. I will come back and plant that tomorrow. I do not have the armor to be screwing with you guys at the moment. <clears throat> Flight. Arcane bolt. Ready. Fire. Screw you. Die. Both of you die. There. Jungle tree. Then over here. Right here. We'll put jungle tree number two. And we're going to have to break a couple leaves off of here in order to get it to grow. But there we go. Now, we have to come over here and stand on all of our apiaries to make sure they can still see, still see the sky. Which is fine for these. This one, though... Well, actually, yeah. That one has the perfect hole to see. Cool. Alright. Now that we're done with that, let's start making some new armor. We are going to make power suit armor. About time, I think. Let's put the chest down back out here before I forget about it totally. I like that silver lime sapling. That looks cool. Just put the vealizer and the trealizer there. We'll take the honeycomb inside and get it processing. Dump it in there. Good. Alright. We're going to need ass loads of copper cable for this. <clears throat> so we're going to grab a stack of copper. We're going to grab 
all of the rubber that we have available in here. Also going to grab a stack of rubber wood. Maybe not yet. You can see our nice, bright, shiny new MFSU there. Which I built off camera. I figure everyone's seen an MFSU before. Probably wouldn't care too much. Alright. Let's pull up the recipe for copper cable in here. Da -da -da. There we go. That'll produce us as much as we can. Alright. Let's look up the recipe for the power armor stuff. The power armor head, the power armor torso, power armor legs, and the power armor boots. Just a combination of refined iron and electronic circuits. So, I have a bunch of refined iron that I've cooked up. Now, how many circuits are we going to need? Two, four, six, eight. We need eight circuits. Let's pull this up. Circuit, recipe. Get some redstone. Drop the redstone in there. Drop eight refined iron in there. And bam, there we go. Now, we're going to take these and produce this stuff by hand. There's our helmet. There's our boots. Uh, I thought I had that. Close. There's the legs. And there's the torso. Let's equip all of this cool stuff. Now, as you might have guessed, this stuff currently does absolutely nothing. It looks cool, but it does nothing. Kind of like the Power Fist. In order to make it do anything, we have to upgrade it. Let's just move our Tinker Table in here. And then we will take a look at the upgrades and what we're going to have to do to produce them. Uh... I'm going to put the table right over here, I think. I'll just put it right next to the... There we go. All right, power armor head. Night vision, flight control, solar generator, basic battery, advanced battery, elite battery, auto feeder, that's kind of cool. Water electrolyzer, that one's awesome. Basically makes you water breathing. Armor, energy shields, we'll definitely want those. <clears throat> All right, so the energy shield takes force field emitters. I want the night vision, which is a hologram emitter on a control circuit. That's not too bad. Flight control is definitely a must-have. Uh, an elite battery, we'll want to put it on one. Um, remember earlier when I was talking about the power fist, how you have this weight thing here? If you go over 25 kilograms of combined total weight, you slow down. That's not good. So, let's go ahead and work on the head first. We need a hologram emitter, uh, two control circuits, an LV capacitor, and two force field emitters. Well, the LV capacitor is easy. It's just a battery and a couple pieces of that wire. Hmm. Do I really not have any of that wire? What's it called? Um, <clears throat> I'll just look up the recipe for solenoid. I know it's on there. That's called wiring. <coughs> okay, I don't have any wiring, so I'm going to need some gold. And some redstone. Let's just make up a good amount of this wiring. We're going to need lots of it. Damn. Um, yeah, let's make a good amount of this copper or this gold cable first and then toss that in there with that. That's going to get us a goodly amount of wiring, maybe a bit more than that even. <clears throat> Three stacks of it, that ought to do for now. Alright, so, need some tin. 
We'll need some more redstone before all said and done. Uh, I'm going to need... Let's see. I'm going to need, at some point here, a diamond. <clears throat> hmm. Because I need to make another Lapitron crystal. A Lapitron crystal, let's go ahead. Oh, need some lapis too. Just grab a stack of that. No. There we go, energy crystal. Two circuits. <coughs> hmm. I really wish I could get my throat cleared, but whatever I have is, like, totally messing with me. Alright, and if we go with the Lapitron crystal and the wiring like that, that gets us an HV capacitor. We're going to need at least one of those. Uh, we needed two of these control circuits, which is, we need glowstone. You know what, let's just go ahead and make some circuits here. Uh, we'll just make a bunch of circuits up in advance. Okay, we need two of these control circuits. There we go. <clears throat> we needed a hologram emitter. The hologram emitter is cactus green, glowstone, lapis, rose red, wiring, and glass. That's a lot. We got the rose red. No, not the roses. The rose red. Need some glass. Let's go ahead and pull this up. And da, 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 da. There we go. We got our hologram emitter. Let's install what we have so far. We'll install the night vision. Done. Now the night vision doesn't have any adjustments here. It just makes you see good. Flight control. Install. Done. Same thing. <coughs> Elite battery. I'm not going to put that on here. The electrolyzer. I'm going to need some of this tin that I grabbed. And some of the copper wire that I've totally used up now. That's why I have more of it cooking up over here. Copper cable, copper ingots, rubber, done, good. <coughs> hmm. Tin, redstone, cable, battery. Battery, wiring, LV capacitor. LV capacitor, water electrolyzer. Jolt energy, one kilojoule. So anytime it has to save me from drowning, it's going to burn one kilojoule of energy. Not too bad. Energy shield. We need two force field emitters. <clears throat> These things, no joke, are horrendously expensive. We'll grab our ender pearls out of here. And we're going to need all of them, I'm afraid. First, we need four solenoids. Which means we need machine blocks. Let's just go ahead and make a bunch of them. <coughs> hmm. The four solenoids. We'll get that way. Uh, the advanced circuit. We'll just do it like that. And the force field emitters. Actually, we need a second advanced circuit, don't we? And force field emitters. We'll put that recipe in there. And actually, I need more solenoids. There we go. 
We've got all the solenoids we need. Force field emitter. And our pearls are in there. Two force field emitters. Install that. Field strength. <coughs> Energy per damage. 500 joules gives you six points of armor. And absolutely no weight, which is really nice. And we can go through and install other stuff to make it look cool later. Let's take a look at what we can put in the torso. Active camouflage, basically invisibility. Armor, <coughs> movement. The jetpack's definitely a must. The battery. This is where we wanted to have the energy. Energy shield, we need two more of those. Uh, give me those. Thank you. Uh, give me those. Give me those. Energy shields installed. There we go. Now, an interesting thing to note about this is that I now have constant power. Because my armor also provides power for me now. Let's take the power armor off. Notice how everything got dark. It's because my knife vision does require just a little bit of energy to work. Let's suck up all the energy we can into our power armor torso. It's going to drain the entire MFSU. And we can now see again. Good deal. Uh, the jetpack. We need four ion thrusters. Holy crap. Ion thrusters take two force field emitters. We need eight force field emitters. An advanced machine block, glowstone, solenoid. I don't have the stuff to do this yet. So this is going to have to wait. I'm going to have to farm ender pearls off camera. The worst part is i got to make a suit for Kozak too, so I'm going to have to farm a lot of ender pearls off camera. Let's ignore that for now. We'll come back to that. Um, cosmetic, we can go with the transparent armor and everything again, which we'll probably do eventually, but for right now let's shift to the legs. We could put a battery in these, but we don't really want to. We could, however, also put a kinetic generator in. That we might do, because a kinetic generator actually generates power as you move. So it helps to refill your power supply just by walking. Uphill step assist, we definitely want. Swim boost, maybe. Jump assist, maybe. Sprint assist, we definitely want. So we need servo motors, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. We need 10 servo motors. <clears throat> Those are each a machine block, a solenoid. Holy crap. And an electronic circuit. So we need 10 electronic circuits. I don't have any circuits in here, do I? No. Let's go ahead and throw the copper and the rubber in there. <coughs> we'll now grab the rubber wet out of here. Yeah, this power armor stuff does some really cool stuff, but holy crap, is it expensive. Alright, circuits. Um, I guess for right now we could go without the jump assist, which will save us four. Because, I mean, we're intending to put flight control and a jetpack in anyway. It seems kind of silly to have jump assist if we're going to have jetpacks. <coughs> so, that means I only need six servo motors. Which means I need six electronic circuits. Which I actually have seven there now. I also need a bunch more machine blocks. Alright. Need six of those. 
12 of those. Holy crap. There we go. 12 solenoids. 6 machine blocks. Electronic circuits. Gives us 6 servo motors. Which will come over here. We're going to install Sprint Assist. Compensation. Let's see here. Walking speed modifier. Sprint exhaustion. I don't really care about sprint exhaustion. Power. And let's go ahead and go with walk assist. There we go. Now this is going to consume just a little bit of power as I move around now, but look how fast I walk. Look how fast I sprint. That's awesome. This is going to take some getting used to. This is going to take some serious getting used to. Um, <clears throat> what's, that, what's that kinetic generator take? Two servo motors and a control circuit? I think we can do that. Maybe not. No, I've used all the refined iron. Whew, we have a lot of mining to do off camera to replace what I've used. All right, let's take a look at the boots, so we can put in the boots. Well, the energy shield, of course, we know. Jet boots, shock absorbers, energy. Honestly, the only thing I want to put in here is the armor, and I need to put the armor in the legs, too. So we need force field emitters. Actually, I'm only going to have enough to put, into one, put it into one thing. And I'm actually not even going to have that much because each one of these is going to require it's going to require eight machine blocks, of which I have three. Now I'm cooking up some refined iron, <coughs> so I mean I can get machine blocks. You know what? We're going to want them eventually anyway. Yes, it's painful. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? There's our eight solenoids. There's our ender pearls. Force field emitter. Uh, put those in, and we need two advanced circuits. Break these machine blocks down into refined iron again. <clears throat> Force field emitters. And since my shoes otherwise do nothing at the moment, I'm going to install them into my shoes. There we go. I have almost full armor. I walk really fast, and I still have two servo motors. Why do I have the two servo motors? What was I going to do with those? Uphill step assist. That's what I was going to do with those. There we go. The uphill step assist means that I no longer have to jump to walk up hills. I can just walk up them. No problem. Zero fucks given. There we go. Hi. How are you? You suck. You know that? Come at me, bro. But yeah, um, the downside to this is that I've used almost 400 iron making all of this crap that I've made. Oh boy. Wait till Kozak hears that one. You used how much? <laughs> Alright. Let's take a look and see what else we can put in. Kinetic generator is two servo motors and a control circuit, which will help offset some of the power consumption, <clears throat> which I see as being worth it. Uh, let's see, a servo motor. 
is three refined iron and an electronic circuit. Uh, so we needed how many controls to, or how many servo motors for that? Just one or two. All right, so we need two circuits. There we go. We need a total of six machine blocks. There we go. Four of which need to be transformed into solenoids. By the way, if you're wondering why everything is so expensive, if you watched other Let's Plays and you're saying, why are you spending so much? It's, th it's a lot cheaper. It's because I have the vanilla and the thermal expansion versions of these recipes turned off for balance issues. Because otherwise, this these mods are ridiculously cheap for what it does. Um, control circuit, we need two refined iron, two wiring, some glowstone. Uh... Over here, I can grab some rubber. Oops, need the wiring. Copper, rubber, wiring. Circuit, redstone, redstone. There we go. And control circuits, wiring, glowstone, redstone, got it. Into the legs goes the kinetic generator. Now this does have weight. Um, what I can do is I can bump this up. You can have up to, actually, I think I can get away with that. Yeah, I can get away with that. Uh, hold on just a second here and let me hit F12, which will move my fraps indicator. 8.84 mil. It's hard. Oh, 8.85 mil. Even with everything turned on and my sprint assist and everything going, I'm actually gaining energy by running around. That's cool. I can deal with that. Alright, let's put everything away. Actually, you know what, let's go into the power tool here. What does it take to make a railgun? Six solenoids and an HP capacitor. Holy crap. Um, but, <clears throat> I'm gonna need it. I don't have the refined iron for the six solenoids. Well, here I go burning more iron. That's okay. I'll go do an epic mining trip. Six frickin' solenoids. Alright, let's work on the HP capacitor. We need a diamond. We're going to need some more redstone before all said and done. Holy crap, we're out of redstone? That. Refined iron. Pull out a stack. Uh, solenoids. Machine blocks. We'll just break two of them back down. Alright, we need some... We need some more gold. Because we need a little bit more wiring, I think. There we go. 
solenoids, nothing refined iron, they, there, that. Okay, six solenoids, now we just need this to become an energy crystal. We need this to become two electronic circuits. We need six lapis. HV capacitor. Hello. Da 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 da. Can't speak. Da. There's our HV capacitor. Let's go ahead and install the railgun. Let's go ahead and install the railgun. Railgun total impulse. We'll turn it up to three kilonewtons, which is going to require three kilojoules per shot. And you may have noticed that on my hotbar, where before I just had the workbench, I now have another option. This is the railgun. Holy crap! This thing one shot sheep. Holy shit. I wonder what it does to a cow. Let's go find out what the fuck. Oh, the quartz. Running so fast, I didn't even see the quartz there. Okay, let's run out this way. Don't mind me, just running along in my power armor. Hey, cow. Boom! One shot's cow. Holy shit. I wonder what it actually does to a hostile mob. Let's go see if we can find some trouble. Ooh, iron. Notice how it's totally bright down here, even though I'm not carrying torches. Uh, hi. Oh my god. Holy shit, I love this gun. Holy shit, I love this thing. Why did I not install this before? Why did I install the crappy melee assist? Now, the only bad part is that impulse. Try firing this thing around lava, you could have some problems. Ow. <clears throat> screw you. Screw you. Screw you. And screw you. Yeah, I might want to turn the impulse down just a little bit, because as nice as it is to be able to one-shot everything, that kickback is really a beast. Alright, I'm just going to add me a little bit more of this iron that I found down here. You don't want none of this. Holy shit. Yeah. Therein lies the problem. Oh, I'm gonna jump up and shoot him in the face. Oh, wait. Yeah, that actually sucks. Alright. <clears throat> anyway. Oh, more iron. We definitely need all the iron we can get. I have to burn a lot more of this in order to make Kozak stuff. Take all the quartz we can get. Uh, da -da -da. More iron? Screw you, creeper. Headshot! 
Yeah, I'm going to want to underclock this railgun a little bit, because this is going to get me in trouble. I'm going to try using this near lava, and it's just going to end badly. Although, I have to say, I'm curious as to just how much damage I would actually take from lava right now, considering the amount of armor that I have on. You know what? In the name of science, let's do it. Let's find out how much damage I currently take from lava. But let's do it under a controlled circumstance. Don't need to go die in here. Let's fill a bucket of lava. Let's take it outside so as not to set our house on fire. It is pitch black out here. You just can't tell because of my night vision. Let's lay the lava down. And... Oh no, I'm burning! Okay, so you take about one heart of damage. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Run, 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 run. Okay, so you take about a half a heart of damage every tick. Not altogether unreasonable. Okay, so, nope, nope, I'm not going to play that game. Or with you, or with you. Ow. Alright, over here, let's see if we've got any special looking bees. Can't really tell from looking. Do we have any more leaf mutations? Oops, let's kick our fly on, and let's take a look around, see if we have any leaf mutations. Probably not yet. Leaf mutations are actually pretty damn uncommon, but you never know. Nope, nothing yet. Um, let me show you what I did with the farm over here. Um, first of all, it is working. Let's grab something to eat here. Yeah, it is working, as you can see. Um, I had to come through here, and I actually had to break out some of the basing that I put in and put some cobblestone and put some water on top of it in order to get the peat bog to work, because otherwise it wasn't going to have any water. Same thing over here with the wheat field. I had to do that to keep some water around it to hydrate the soil. But other than that, it's working just fine. We just need a way to empty this out, because otherwise it doesn't want to do anything. But now it's going to work just fine. Let's shoot us a couple of blue creepers before we go, and I think that's going to be it for this episode. Man, I'm going to have to get used to this. All right. I think that's enough. This has been Night Dagger with Let's Play a Mod of Minecraft Season 4, episode, I think this was 13. Um, be back pretty soon with Kozak in episode 14, as long as he's feeling better and I'm not feeling worse. So, catch you later, peeps.